Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid. I am so excited to present my brand new painting, which is called the Chicago Water Tower. Now let me tell you a little of the history of this painting. In 1998, I created a study, a study of Chicago, a view of the water tower. Now this study was done in an impressionistic studio study style. This was meant to be a color study that hopefully someday I would complete as a finished studio painting. The study was published as a limited edition print and quickly sold out. I guess there's a lot of fans of the great Chicago landmark, the Water Tower. And people from the Windy City really take pride in the history of the Water Tower. Well, I have now come back this year, 2004, and created the Chicago Water Tower studio painting. As you look at the studio painting, you will notice, of course, the effect of light. You have a very dramatic uplight coming from the middle foreground areas. We see that very luminous sense of lights as though maybe a festival or some kind of celebration is going on at the water tower. A handsome cab is pulling up and of course the top-hatted coachman is excited to be bringing somebody to the Chicago Water Tower, maybe to join in to the celebration. I had fun painting the people silhouetted by the light in the distance. Of course the Water Tower itself is really the star of the show. The Water Tower is probably the city's most celebrated landmark and really has been for over a century. Now, this structure was designed in 1867 by an architect by the name of William W. Boyington. Now, it has really become somewhat of a landmark in the sense that it is almost like a tribute to the victims of this Chicago fire. Now, most of you who've studied a little of history remember that on the morning of October 9th, 1871, the flames of a catastrophic fire engulfed Chicago. Now, the day following the fire, the water tower was almost like a guidepost to lead the rescue crews and citizens through the rubble of what once had been their homes. The water tower became a monument to the efforts of Chicago's waterworks engineers and a symbolic reminder of Chicago's indomitable I can do it spirit. Now in 1969, which was the year of the centennial anniversary of the water tower, this landmark was recognized as the first American water landmark. Now amazing, isn't it? The very first time a structure of this sort was recognized as an American monument. It's really a treasure for the city of Chicago and as you study the ornate stone facade of the water tower, you can really see why it is something to be proud of. As you dim the lights on this painting, I think the effect of that inner glow, that luminism that I'm known for, really becomes obvious. You see the light coming up from the tower, lighting it from below. You see the distant lights of the celebration. This scene is a winter scene, and I think there's nothing more romantic than Chicago in the winter. Romantic, perhaps, if you don't live there every day, although even for locals, there's something nostalgic as snow lines the streets. I put the wispy effects of snow up in the trees that you see on the plaza. This is truly a classic scene, an American landmark. Now, I have painted a number of landmark settings over the years. I enjoy, of course, my settings from San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. I've painted New York Fifth Avenue. The great landmarks of America need to be celebrated, and of course, this is the first time I've created a studio painting celebrating Chicago. Now, of course, for people who are fans of the Windy City, and many people, of course, live in the greater Chicagoland area, but in addition to that, how many of us have had the great opportunity to visit Chicago and fall in love with the energy and the special spirit of that wonderful city. Every painting I create is about celebration. I celebrate home, family, the beauty of different regions. I've even had the chance to celebrate great landmarks such as the Chicago Water Tower. I pray this will be a blessing to your home for many years to come. God bless.